making sure children are healthy, safe, loved, ready to learn, succeeding in school and in life. This is Our Children, a program brought to you by the Children's Trust. Good morning. I'm Charles Auslander, President and CEO of the Children's Trust. And I'm Ileana Varela with the Herbert Wertheim College of Medicine at FIU. And together we welcome you to Our Children. You know, it may still feel like summer, but the new academic school year starts on Monday. Can you believe it? This is a very busy time for many families, including mine. And that's why we want to tell you about an event that's happening one week from today that will help you prepare for the year ahead. Start the school year off right with the Children's Trust Annual Family Expo, featuring valuable resources, activities, and entertainment for the entire family. It provides parents with a wide variety of information, as well as direct contact with all kinds of programs, health, and social services. It's an amazing environment. It's free, free parking, free entrance. We've got bounce houses and rock climbing walls. We've got face painters. In a fun and entertaining environment, more than 200 exhibitors distribute important information, including a back-to-school boulevard staffed by Miami-Dade County Public Schools. Anytime that we can have outreach to the community and in this fashion and get this many people to have that interaction with, it's wonderful, it's gold. Don't miss the Read to Learn Book Fair, a hands-on edible gardening activity area, and free produce provided by Baptist Health. We're excited to be here. We're really proud of uh, this event. It's just enormous and we're grateful to be a part of it. Attracting more than 20,000 visitors a year, this amazing event offers tons of family and kid-friendly activities for all to enjoy indoors and out. Lots of fun for the little ones too. Plus, the ever-popular appearances by children's favorite characters and performances on two stages. It's an awesome event. There's a lot of resources for parents um, and for the kids. We're having a blast. This is fantastic. Oh, my gosh. The Children's Trust Family Expo, the biggest family resource fair in Miami-Dade, all at the Miami-Dade Fair and Expo Center. For more information, call 211 or visit thechildrenstrust.org. Joining us now to talk about just a few of the many special areas you'll find at the Family Expo are Sonia Joseph, Chair of the Florida Kid Care Coalition of Miami-Dade, Lucette Talamas, a registered dietitian for Baptist Health South Florida, and Barbara Bigart with the Parent Academy of Miami-Dade County Public Schools. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being Thank with you, us Jack. this morning, ladies. Thank you, Eliana. You know, I was at the Family Expo for the first time last year, and frankly, I was uh, I was very impressed. I mean, it was it was pretty amazing, and that um, that back to school boulevard was packed. It was wall to wall I'll people. Say. It yeah. was. <laughs> so uh, so, what are you going to do this year, Barbara? How are you going to top last year? Well, we're just so thrilled to be back doing the Back to School Boulevard, and we have more than 14 uh, divisions of Miami-Dade County Public Schools, each with many different departments that are going to showcase all the resources that parents can access to help their children succeed. Um, do you want to find out about the socio-emotional resources to help your child through student services, all the different counseling programs, intervention, prevention programs? Do you want to find out about the parent portal, how to get your child accessed into how to get an account with the parent portal. Common Core, that's brand new, that's coming through. We have a wonderful exposition from Academics and Accountability Division, and we're going to show how Common Core plays out in all the disciplines and what parents can do to help their children succeed in and how they can support their education. Physical well, health and well-being, physical education, health literacy, food and nutrition, do you have your children en enrolled in the free and reduced lunch program, or how can you do that? And of course, the Parent Academy, what kind of programs do we have to help parents help their children throughout the school year, including not only the workshops, but the free events. Uh, the range goes on and on, Hopefully. and I think you're going to have, a, I think parents are going to have a wonderful time. And we're so happy to have the chance to talk one-on-one -on -one with families, because we always say parents need to be full partners in their children's education, and Absolutely. this is an opportune way to really uh, reestablish those important relationships for the new school year. Absolutely. You know, I'm glad you mentioned that you will have some one-on-one -on -one time, because 
you know, parents will naturally be confused about, you know, the relationship between FCAD and you mentioned several mm -hmm. times Common Core. Mm -hmm. Any other thoughts you might have about the, those points to, to tell us Well, today? this is a transitional year. There still will be FCAD exams administered this year and a couple years ago they started end of course exams which were computer based and those will continue, but there will be a new assessment for the Common Core curricula mm -hmm. and that's being developed as we speak. And so during this transitional year, we want parents to understand what the test will be like, but also to appreciate what Common Core brings to the educational process. I mean, this is an initiative that's been adopted in 45 states and the District of Columbia, four United States territories, and the goal of the Common Core is to help children uh, develop each uh, standard has goals related to post-secondary and career opportunities in the future. So we really feel that this is a wonderful interdisciplinary approach and that uh, there's a lot to learn. So I think the Common Core exposition will be very helpful for families. You also mentioned the infamous parent portal. I know this is a very important, <laughs> <laughs> important tool. And I say infamous because a lot of us parents, uh, particularly at the beginning, uh, have problems with it. Will mm -hmm. you have technical assistance? Because I know uh, we I'm definitely not the will. Person. Yeah. No, we definitely will. We'll okay. have a, a presentation about the portal because portal has so many resources mm -hmm. for families, not just the grade book and right. learning about attendance, and but also special things through the district, special opportunities that are available. Mm -hmm. Do you want to become a school volunteer? You can register. You can register for free right. and reduced lunch application. Right. Uh, so beyond all the things that the portal offers. Right. It has been daunting, but I think it's become easier each year, and, and, you'll and, have, and you'll we'll have, have people. people there okay. to actually help Terrific. parents create their portal account. Okay. Well, that's, so. That is great to hear. Yeah, and we're looking forward to it. <laughs> Very exciting, uh, Lucette. Um, would you tell us about Five a Day in the Baptist Health Way, which yes. which does rhyme? <laughs> it does. What is that about? Good. Yes, um, Five a Day, the Baptist Health Way, is how we will be present at the Expo. At Baptist Health, it's really important for us to get the message out to our community about eating more fruits and vegetables. So when you come by the Five a Day, the Baptist Health Way, you'll see a lot of fruits and vegetables, many different kinds, and you'll have, they'll have the opportunity to pick up these fruits and vegetables to take home. They'll also get a recipe card. It's very simple recipe, so they'll know how to eat these fruits and veggies at home. And it's just adding one or two more servings to the goal of, at the end of the day is to increase more fruits and vegetables, whether it's five or more servings a day. So it's a great time for families to come, for parents to come by with their kids and see these fruits and vegetables being given and, and, out. And this year, aside from giving out the fruits and vegetables, which, which is absolutely wonderful, uh, you're also going to have a dietitian yes. on hand, right? I Off plan on being there. <laughs> oh, so yes. you're going to be, yes. yeah, you're going to be our yes. resident dietitian then. Yes. So families can stop by and have the opportunity to ask a dietitian a question. Mm -hmm. It can be anything related to nutrition, whether it's what does healthy eating look like for yourself as an adult or for your child, should they be similar, or if you're concerned about what your child should be drinking, um, if your child's in a transitional stage of feeding and they might be going through a picky eating phase, you know, any question related to nutrition and um, maybe how something simple, how to make fruits and vegetables more available for your child and, you know, how to make them all Taste good. How much should my child be eating at How much, this age? Sure. Or, you know, that's if your child's allergic to milk, what other substitutes are there? You know, we want to make sure the calcium's in there. So you can come pick up uh, our brains there. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes. That's great. Well, we've gotten through parts of education and, and uh, health and nutrition. And now, uh, Sonia, yes. uh, from the Florida Kid Care Coalition of Miami-Dade, you'll be at the Expo as well. And, yes. Uh, actually, as we understand, helping families apply for kid care for their children. Yes, sir. Um, so some of us may not know the specifics about kid care, and if you could tell us a little bit about it and explain the program, please. Florida Kid Care Program is a affordable health care insurance for working families with children between ages 0 to 19 years. There are three components to Florida Kid Care. 
We have Medicaid, which cover children from zero to five years, and that is free. There is no premium for that. There is also the Children Medical Services Network that provides both coverage and medical services for children that need more than the average medical service. And you have Healthy Kids, which, is, which covers children from five to 19 years of age, there is a low cost premium associated with it, but it covers everything that you can think about. Dental, vision, mental health, emergencies, you know. It is important for, children, for parents to be, have comfort in knowing that their children are covered. And when you have Florida Kid Care, your children are covered for about, for about almost everything. To apply for Florida Kid Care, there are two ways. You can apply online or you can complete a paper application. The online application can be found at www.healthykids.org. You can also print a paper application from the website or you can call 1-888-540-KIDS and request a paper application. Will you have people there helping folks yes. um, fill out those applications? Yes. Um, so Miami-Dade County have a number of applicant assistants mm -hmm. which also belong to the Florida Kid Care Coalition, so Miami-Dade Coalition. So what, what, what would I need to bring to you in order you for you to help me out if, if I wanted to do that? Okay, okay, you would need to prove household income for four consecutive weeks. There is also unearned income, such as court-ordered child support, mm -hmm. SSI benefits, or that is considered when Kid Care is considering the income of the household. So we need to have copies of all those documents. Mm -hmm. Parents also need to bring their IDs and social security. Mm -hmm. And for the children, we are going to need to have their birth certificates or permanent residence card and a copy of their social security. The applications would be completed on site and streamlined to uh, Florida Healthy Kids. And so, and we would also send a copies of the documents to support your um, eligibility for the program. That's a big help. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Florida mm -hmm. Healthy Kids recently introduced a mobile app for smartphones. Mm -hmm. You can go into the app store and download um, Captain Kid Care, as he's called, oh my goodness. a little guy. We've moved with a into the 21st century. Exactly. Well, definitely so news. many services right. yes. there. But yeah. you, know, you know what? One of, the, one of the reasons that my kids loved going last year is because there's goodies. There's Lots because of goodies. Because kids love goodies. And yes. I know that Charles is going to be giving some of those goodies out and he's he's brought right. some to show because he loves show and tell so <laughs> <laughs> that was his favorite subject at school from it when was I the told. only one i passed I think. <laughs> thank you Ileana. what you got what are you going to be giving you're going to be giving these out and so you're right so Expo? so we've heard a tremendous amount about the information that will be available um, health and education and health care access but we also have gifts and uh, but you have to come early you have to come early. That's correct. <laughs> because we are giving you have away, how many of these? We're giving away about uh, 2,000 uh, backpacks. And uh, you can see that these are great. These are the back-to-school backpacks. And uh, every kid will want one. So come early and often. And these are probably best suited for the younger mm -hmm. children in elementary school. And then we have the cool, the very cool, messenger bags. I wow. know you particularly I like that one. Like these. And, I particularly uh, like the red too. Yes, yes, the red it, it goes well Thank with you, you as well. Absolutely. Yes. But um, <laughs> these are the messenger bags that we have. Probably uh, for some of the older kids will really like these. And I think if I do this well, I can find some of the things inside. Yes. And so we have nice composition books as well that we're giving away because we all know that Everyone needs composition books for, for school. What else you got in there? Well, it's not in there. Oh. But I think in here we've got ah. a rainbow of, of pencils. Can't have enough of those. Can't have enough of those either. This, so this there is, you have this it. This is very nice. Let me show that one more time. But 2,000 of these, so you got you got to come early. And it's for school-age right. children that we're giving those out. So just, just show up bright and early and yeah. uh, line up. Okay, terrific. Thanks, Charles.
Well, up next, we're going to talk about why after-school programs are so important and how to find them. We're also going to introduce you to a young lady you can meet at the Family Expo who has created a series of books modeled after herself. They're about a female superhero in a wheelchair who fights bullying. Don't go away. Two children, same neighborhood, same school, same kindergarten class. The only difference is one has good attendance, the other doesn't. And the effects of absenteeism can last a lifetime. By the time children get to third grade, the battle is either won or lost. Help your child succeed in school and in life by making sure they go to school every day. Their future is in your hands. This message brought to you by the Children's Trust, because all children are our children. It's not about the classroom, or the computers, or how much money you make. It's not where you live, or where you come from. When it comes to kids succeeding in school, the number one factor is... Me. Me. Moi. Yo. Parents, Parents like, like me, me and you. If you want to make a difference in your children's lives, read to them, be selective about their care, encourage them to get good grades. You have to be active and involved. To find the support you need, log on to thechildrenstrust.org. The Children's Trust. Because all children are our children. The free Children's Trust Family Expo is back now with two entrances and more parking. Visit the Back to School Boulevard special areas full of fun and learning and exhibits showcasing hundreds of programs for kids. Plus, learn more about eating healthy and growing your own veggies. Enjoy activities for the whole family, loads of entertainment, and character appearances. Don't miss the Children's Trust Family Expo Saturday, August 24th from 10 to 6 at the Miami-Dade County Fair and Expo Center. For map showtimes and schedules, visit our website or call 211. Welcome back, everyone. So hard to believe, but school is right around the corner. And Charles, I, I think perhaps we should talk a little bit about um, after-school programs uh, because sure. obviously a, a lot of schools have aftercare, but there is a big difference between aftercare and, and the kind of after-school programs that the Children's Trust um, sponsors. Can you explain that difference? Because I, I really want people to understand what we're talking sure. about. Well, we try to have um, a full set of activities for children and for, for older youth as well. Um, it is a daily program after school, so it's also important to have attendance. Uh, but we have homework assistance, of course, because parents and children uh, that's, both that's big help. care a lot about mm -hmm. that, understandably. But we also have um, a lot of different activities. We have reading activities. We have sports. Um, and we also have some special activities that may not be available to, to children and youth elsewhere. Uh, we have uh, arts activities, music, uh, science activities, technology, and so a lot of programs will specialize sort of in a themed sort of way on those things, and it really makes it special for those who attend. In other words, this is, this is not a babysitting service. It, it absolutely isn't. We really uh, try our best to, it's after school, but it's not like school. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, um, you do get a chance to do your homework, but you're also kept very active. And it's, hopefully it's a lot of fun as well. And where can parents find out about these programs, Charles? So you can, you can start with our website, thechildrenstrust.org. Mm -hmm. We keep a comprehensive list with explanations of the programs. You can also contact uh, Switchboard 211 or go online to their website as well for a, a full list. And if you want, if you want the hard paper, <laughs> if, if, you're, if you still want that, uh, at across the, the county in Winn-Dixie stores, you can find the after school program uh, brochure and, and that, that also has a comprehensive list. Wonderful. Charles, just a moment ago, you talked about how reading is a very important component of all the after-school programs funded by the Children's sure, Trust. But, absolutely. you know, we're not necessarily talking about just sitting down and reading to yourself for an hour, which a lot of kids <laughs> find extremely boring. In fact, there are a variety of programs that you can choose from. In fact, here's one called Reader's Theater that not only produces results, but the kids love it.
For the nearly 40 students enrolled in the after-school program at Feinberg Fisher K-8 Center, reading is certainly not an afterthought. Yay! We love this story! That's right! In fact, it's at the forefront of their program, operated by Unidad of Miami Beach and funded by the Children's Trust. We provide um, reading, reader's theater as part of our literacy component, which the kids love and enjoy and adore, and they always ask for it, and that's the first thing they ask when they come in, reader's theater. Reader's theater is a popular reading curriculum that encourages kids to play the roles of characters in the stories, which makes reading much more exciting and boosts comprehension. It helps you read better. It helps you, like, understand the word when you keep on reading it. And on this day, the kids are in for a special surprise. We have a visitor today! <laughs> They're meeting the author of the stories they read each week. I hear that you guys are doing an amazing job with all my stories. Diana Cleveland is a leading expert in reader's theater who has edited and written more than 80 children's books. Now there was one watermelon that was very different from the rest, different on the outside. Her playbook's role play reader story, Minnie the Super Watermelon, is a class favorite. It stars a small watermelon who discovers she is packed with essential nutrients. Cleveland narrates the story with a glittery prop microphone in hand. There was a big beautiful watermelon patch that was covered every morning in sparkling dew. While the kids, gathered in small groups and dressed like the characters they play, read, I simply must have it for my family, which is an antioxidant that makes it a superfood. And sometimes sing out loud. She is smaller than all the rest. And that makes her the very best. The end! Being a star makes reading fun. And when kids get to have the ownership of a role and they get to be a personality, they're more likely to read with expression. And when they read with expression and the child's voice goes up and down all in the right places, that tells you they understand what they're reading. When you are out, go next door and ask the... Wait, the people to call the fire department. And with the translation of 10 of Cleveland's stories to Braille, eight-year-old DeAndre, who is blind, can read along with his peers. The dots that they use are placed in, in an order to make the letter. But it helps you to, uh, with, like, fluency. All this gives this story a real life happy ending. Thank you for saying that. <laughs>We have another author with us this morning, and her name is Catherine Magnoli. Catherine, you visit a lot of schools just like the Reader's Theater author, but your books have a different purpose. Would you like to tell us a little bit about them? Yes, my books are called The Adventures of Cat Girl, which I brought for oh, thank you. you today oh, to take a wonderful. look at. And my books are about a girl in a wheelchair who's a superhero, and she fights Cat against girl. bullying <laughs> in schools. Yes. <laughs> She's modeled after me because my name is Catherine with a K. <laughs> um, and what she does is how she helps the child that's being bullied is she teaches them that even though people may say mean things about you, you mm -hmm. should never give up on your dreams and your goals. So in the book that um, Charles, Charles has, has mm -hmm. right there, she actually helps an overweight right. boy mm -hmm. um, live out his dream to ride a horse. And at the end, it's very fun. She takes him on a flying adventure on the horse. So each book kind of touches on a different disability or physical mm -hmm. challenges, I like to, to put it. <laughs> I see some of these, you're, you're actually in school, and, yes. and, and I know that having uh, spina bifida, um, you obviously have a special insight into how children with disabilities experience school. And I wonder, how do children, other children react when you go to these appearances and you share these experiences with them? Well, actually, it's very interesting because I always open up with a question to the audience. I mm -hmm. say, 
what are some of the things that you feel or think when you first saw me being in a wheelchair? And I make sure that they know there's no wrong answer. Mm -hmm. So they raise their hand, they say, I feel sad, I feel worried, I feel sorry for you. Mm -hmm. And then I, I'm like, okay. So then I read the story and I ask the question again. And they're like, you're so cool. Do you have a <laughs> button? Does your chair fly? So it's, it's really interesting to see how the stories can totally shift their perception of people with disabilities. The perspective changes. Yeah, huh? yeah, the wow. perspective changes. These are great. Thank you. So these are, these are obviously wonderful stories, and I, I hope I have a chance to read them. I didn't have a chance yet. Well, I can give you an autographed copy well, wow. at the end if you'd like. That is very, very kind of you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, so as long as you're going to be famous and, and rich someday, uh, tell us a little bit about, about your career goals and what else you're working on. Well, besides the books, um, I'm also starting my bachelor's at Miami-Dade School of Education for exceptional student education, and hopefully in the near future I will be um, a teacher assistant for a special education oh, class, terrific. or exceptional student class, I should say. And then from there, one day be an actual teacher, and that's basically my biggest goal, is to just impact the lives of of kids in any way that I can. <laughs> Gee, you know what? I think she's already doing that. She's I, already I, teaching them. <laughs> and she's already impacting the lives. So I think you're already ahead of the game. Well, thank you. Well, she yeah. wants a formal degree as well. And that's <laughs> she wants, yeah, she wants to get paid for it. No, <laughs> That'd be okay. nice, right? That makes sense. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I'm totally fine doing things for free. I, I hope nobody <laughs> thinks I'm, I'm not. But, you know, it would be nice to have a where, where can Where can uh, folks find these books? You can actually find them in two places. You can get them at Books and Books in Coral Gables, mm -hmm. and also you can get it at www.realspecialeducation.com. It's a mouthful. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. It is. Okay, well, I think it's only fair that if he's getting an autographed copy, I get an autograph. Of can course. We, can we yes. arrange that? Yes, I you think can. that's more than fair. <laughs> I need her to treat me well, Catherine. Okay. And you also can get a cat girl puppet. Oh, wonderful. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much. So. Cat. Cat? Can we call you Cat? Yes, you can call Thank me Cat. That's what my us. friends call me. Thank you for being with us. Well, we'd like to Thank be your you friend. Thank you so much. You are quite the inspiration. Thank you. You're amazing. Thank and you. Th it was wonderful being here. So thank, thank you. you for having oh, me. Thank you. <laughs> well, don't go yet. Don't oh, go yet. Sorry. We're almost done. Oh, sorry. <laughs> In just a few days, folks, you can meet Catherine Magnolia herself and get one of her books at the Children's Trust Family Expo on Saturday. That's August 24th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. She will be joined by three other authors of many wonderful children's books. So please stop by. Admission is free and so is a parking you can't beat that. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your weekend and have a great start to the school year. I'm Ileana Barella on behalf of the Children's Trust and Charles Auslander. Thanks for watching this edition of Our Children. Our Children is brought to you by the Children's Trust. The Children's Trust invests in programs and services that help make children healthy, safe, loved, ready to learn, succeed in school and in life. To access its funded programs and services in Miami-Dade County, visit thechildrenstrust.org or call the Children's Trust helpline at 211 because all children are our children.